So the free Nathan commercial was made entirely by AI, as you can see. But moreover, it was made in three or four hours, and it cost about $150 to produce something like this. And I'm happy to drive you through, you know, what we did basically to kick it off. The first thing we did is we used ChatGPT, and we used um, uh, used it to basically create a, a script. So the script went something like, um, I want to write a script for a commercial based on script writing, writing best practices um, for Enso. I want a bold character who represents the problem of creating of creating automations. So it was something like this and basically after we created this first character uh, which was extremely important so the automation guy in this case it, it's not Nathan because it's been a while that we've been working on the Nathan thing but the automation guy so it says about the problem and etc. And then what I basically did, I asked for um, create a visual um, description of the main character. And what I did right after this is I used it to basically go to uh, Mid Journey. And uh, okay, so I will ask for it. Create a Mid Journey. So I used the Mid Journey prompt, and then what I basically did is I went to Mid Journey, I copied this prompt, and I created the first character. And the character was, it was pretty simple. I used some references, of course, um, but overall I just decided to um, go with a landscape 1609 uh, kind of a frame. And then I asked it to um, create the character. That was my next thing. So once it created the character, in this case, it creates, you know, it created something um, not realistic, but we can ask this to make it more realistic. I basically took the um, the character and I went and downloaded it. And then I used replicate, actually. Um, to which is replicate.com to create to call the VO 3.1 um, API and what I did here is that I basically gave I took like pieces of the script and I turned the script into turn the script into VO 3.1 8 seconds pieces of prompts and so the next thing I did is that I took the script and I took the prompts and I inserted into the replicate I removed all the references and I used what me journey created as a reference to basically um, create the output which is super cool we got to wait until it's actually going to create. It's going to be about a minute, a minute and a half maybe, um, to create the entire scene. Um, and the next thing I did, I used Canva for video editing. Um, and Can Canva was great because it has all the templates possible to actually create the video. So it was a lot of fun. Um, and I edited piece by piece each and every one um, of the scenes. But Nathan was the only one who could do it. And God damn. Nathan needs a break. And then So that was a lot of fun because it took me a few hours to actually, you know, generate the scenes, make sure that I have everything up and running. Um, and on top of this, I created, um, of course, the narration um, with 11 labs. So I generated the speech and I added this basically. But Nathan was the only one who could do it. And God damn, Nathan needs a break. So I took these pieces and I inserted it here alongside the drums and the music to create this, you know. And then one day, the request stopped. Slack went quiet. His inbox went empty. No workflows? 
So basically the, the nice narration on, on top of this. And it was extremely easy. So all of these tools are extremely simple to create uh, with. Um, yeah, and it cost me about 100, maybe $150 um, to generate basically all the VO prompts, uh, the VO scenes. And that's the biggest problem. You're going to get a lot of iterations until you get something that you like. So we're going to see what happens here in a few seconds and what's the kind of scene it comes up with. But this is the type of work that you have to do in order to create um, uh, the video or like a commercial like this. I think the most important part in this case is that I've been working with the angles a lot because AI creates, you know, it's not very consistent. So it creates a little bit of a different kind of, a, of scenes. So I basically uh, use different angles to make it look realistic. Um, and so if you're using the same angle all the time, you might see the inconsistencies all the time. Um, so that's part of the uh, problems that I was trying to solve. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Let's wait together for the uh, video. Here it is. Okay, that's perfect. It took two minutes. But as you can see here... So those are the type of stuff that you can do with VO, which is a lot of fun. I'm going to add all the links in the video description so you can give it a try. It is a great way to create commercials, but mostly as a startup, you know, I've saved probably tens of thousands of dollars on the video. But on top of this, I also had the chance to make it in just three hours. So we had a two weeks lunch plan and just one day end to end, I had the whole video experience. Let me know if you have any questions and if we can help. Have a good day.